This is the Philippines, a foreigner's way of life. We are fixing to go catch a bus and go to Cebu. We're going to have to say bye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. We should be back Monday or Tuesday. And tomorrow is Rachel's birthday. Yeah. Yay. When we leave, uh, Rachel's mom and dad comes and watches the house and property for us and feeds the chickens. Goodbye, chickens. We try to get out to catch a bus. Oh, between 10.30 and 11, there's a really good bus that comes through usually. It's a long bus and it's got air conditioning. Right now, I checked the thermometer when I left and it, it, it was 96 degrees. Outside, it was like 95 degrees inside the house. That's why we like to catch an air conditioned bus. They have two types of buses, and one's air conditioned, the other's open air. It's just a little bit cheaper, not much, but um, they just don't charge as much. And there's a lot of people take those buses. I'd rather wait for an air conditioned bus. Us partners walk fast, those behind us will walk slow. <laughs> you know, I used to really complain that they walk so slow, you walk so slow, but I figured out they really don't walk slow. They just got shorter legs. I've got longer legs than they do, and I take longer strides, and they take shorter strides because their legs are shorter. This is the village that we live in, walking through. It really is sad, that's why I've got a towel around my neck. There's Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. Washing clothes, huh? <laughs> Saturday, a lot of the people, that's when they wash clothes, is on Saturdays. That's when we have to wash the clothes, too. Our washing machine broke, so we've had to hand wash now for over a year. Sister Joanne, we're going to the big church event tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, song leader. Say bye bye. Titus, where are you going, baby? Really? Are you going to Cebu? Are you going to Cebu City? So we don't live too terribly far from the main road. The bus don't normally always run on time. But, um, you know, they might be there in five minutes, they might be there in 30 minutes. But they normally have a, bu a bus scheduled every 30 minutes. Just me, Rachel, and Titus is going. They're just coming to say bye and helping to bring the luggage. One thing about us, since we take a bus ride, is we don't eat a whole lot. That guy's a serious bus. It's going north. We, I mean, yeah, north. We've got to go south. But we don't eat a lot and we don't drink a lot when we get on the bus because the buses here do not have a restroom. They will stop one hour from now, and then they will stop two and a half hours from now, and that's when you can go to the bathroom. So we don't drink a lot, and we don't eat a lot. What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> Where? I've been here five years, and that's my second time to ever see him. <laughs> he's a partner. He, he's got a house back here, but I, I don't. I don't think he lives here a whole lot. I don't even know his name. But every time I saw him, like I said, this is two or three times. He's always been nice and friendly. Angel, we're gonna miss you, babe. Tomorrow's Rachel's birthday, and we've got a big church event tomorrow um, that we've been invited to. So we're gonna go there. And we can celebrate Rachel's birthday at the same time. 
Rachel and Mary Rose and kids, they can't go because they got school Monday. And we won't be coming back till Monday or maybe even Tuesday, depends on what we get done. Every time I go to the city, I take care of my banking and um, just, just paperwork that has to be done, which is, our bank is there, our branch is there. All right, bye y'all, then go, go back and watch the house. Rainbow, we love you, baby. Bye-bye. Bye, Miro. Bye, Angel. Thank you. Salamat. You need something now, text us or call us, okay? Well, honey, tomorrow you're going to be 29 years old? Yes. <laughs> I'm not older. <laughs> no, you look a lot younger. I mean, a lot younger. So here comes another bus going north. So they have quite a few buses. That was an open air bus. They also have these express vans that go back and forth, same price, but they're a whole lot faster. Um, and quite honestly, they drive crazy. Really fast, really dangerous. They take chances around curves, passing people, and it just scares me. And I sometimes I do take them because I'm in a hurry to get to Cebu. But, uh, with Rachel and the baby, we don't take the, the express vans. Not going to take a chance. <laughs> there comes Pa and Ma. They got a motorcycle and a sidecar. They had, uh, well, since school just started today, they had meetings at school, parents, teacher conferences, and they just now get into the house. Bye bye, attending me. I don't know if we are as bad as we are in the States carrying a lot of luggage, but the luggage and the backpack there is going to go under the bus. And then we have my computer bag and we have snack bag and we have Titus's bag on her backpack. And that's all we're taking. Did you step on mama's foot? Uh, where are you going now? Tell, me, tell everybody where you're going. Going to Cebu, aren't we, Mama? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's the bus coming. Is it air conditioning? Yes. No. I told him no, it's, uh, it's open air, not air conditioning. And it's 98 degrees now, probably, and we've got a long ride to go. I'd rather be comfortable and wait for a good bus. Wouldn't you, baby? Yeah, it's really hot. We've done it the other way. And the baby is miserable. Oh, the baby, he's terrible. He gets hot and sweaty, he cries a lot. And we, we, we would just rather wait. He's catching a little old right for those that's never seen it or that's new to the Philippines cheap way of transportation minimum charges like if he goes to town something's eight pesos at 16 cents you can catch a trike and go about 25 30 kilometers and it's 35 pesos which is 70 cents for short distances you'll see people that has a bicycle like that one I don't know if you can see it or not and they pretty much charge the same price they're just convenient sometimes in some areas just to go a short distance well Titus can you tell me now where you're going there goes one of those bicycles with the sidecar. People just friendly around here. Most of them know us. We've been here a long time. And we've given out a lot of supplies. A lot of relief. A lot of building material. Name your birthday. Which, I forget, which, who, was it the kid or the mama? 
Oh, that's right. She's the her birthday is the same as my birthday. Yes, you're gonna come to my birthday party and, and we'll have a birthday party together. Okay, don't forget. I think she's cute as a button. Yes, I do. But has to. It's got my same birthday. <laughs> That's one of those express vans again. Show y'all something. This tree was standing under. You see that fruit? This is what is called a bread fruit tree. We have one in our yard at the house. Now, I'm gonna tell you, they take it and they'll put it on an open fire and roast it. And most people say that when you break it open and eat it, it tastes like bread. But really, my opinion, I think they didn't name it correctly. I think it should be called a potato tree. Because you take one of those and you roast it. You, you break it open, put you some salt and butter on it. If you was to close your eyes, you would think that you're eating a baked potato. And that's no joke. And it's good, and it's good for you. I let Rachel try it, and it does take like taste like a baked potato, don't it? Yeah. You when you butter and salt, black pepper. It is good, and it tastes like baked potato. Remember the partner we saw a while ago that I haven't seen but two or three times that live here? He just went past the road. He missed his turn, <laughs> so he. He's backing up and having to come back. I'm sure that's what he did. He missed his turn. Yep, he missed his turn. <laughs> Wish I had a car like that though. It'd be nice to have a car. We got a little old motorcycle. 42 minutes, still no bus. Now usually they come a lot quicker than this. I mean, almost always. Titus already getting hot and tired and sleepy. We got mangoes. Ah, oh, y'all just picked mangoes. That's a big, big basket of mangoes. That's a big basket of mangoes. Did, did you, did you like a joke? Can I borrow your car? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I should have. The bus coming I just took him a short nap now he's feeling better and now he looks comfortable. <laughs> Nobody's on the bus today. It's a Saturday though. The bus is a real busy Monday through Friday. People going to school, people going to the city. But today's Saturday. We made it! SM City! Are you waiting on me or am I waiting on you? Ugh. Well, you got the baby, I got the baby.
Do you need to go inside or anything? You just want to go into the hotel? Well, we're in the taxi headed to the hotel. Hey! Are you excited to be in the taxi? Say hi. Where are you at? Where are you at? Hey. <laughs> Long trip, huh?